it's a family farm and we feel really strongly that we should look after it and we should leave it better than we find it. It was an unproductive piece of land and we think we should look after the water. Yeah, it's about leaving it in a better state than you find it. For preparation before planting, I'd go and talk to people that had already done it and, and ask their advice. Where did they get their trees, how big they were, what survived and what didn't, and how much time it actually takes to look after them in the summer. When we bought the farm, there wasn't a lot of this river even fenced. Gordon Stevenson, way up at Wotu, at the other end where it started, he'd fenced his. And so he was a really great source of information. He'd done it before, so he helped me with plant selection. And he gave me that great advice that I shouldn't fence, we shouldn't fence right next to the river. He said, look at it and, and take out that wasteland. It isn't any, really any good at all. And he said, and you'll never regret it. And I, and I don't regret it at all, because it made the paddocks much easier to manage. First and foremost, I'd put a fence up and then I'd attack the blackberry or the barberry or the convolvulus. Then I'd I spray out big circles, big wide circles with Roundup, and then I wait a month before I plant my plants in them. I found if I plant any sooner, they die. They don't, a lot of them don't make it. The other options are to plant and then use carpet as a surround to keep your weeds down, or you could use the chips out of your calf shed if you had them. I spray, and that seems to work really well for me. So this is typical preparation. Um, I've sprayed it out with Roundup, and uh, because I'm really close to the river, I want some of these nice flaxes in here to help hold the bank. And the carrot sector will grow here too. Uh, they're really good by the bank, and, and they grow quite bushy. The trees are hardy plants to start with, and then later on, when like the lemon woods and the pittosporums and, and the totras get established, then I've had a wee play and that's the nice bit. You can plant your rimus in amongst them. I've planted some miro down here which I didn't think would survive but they have. Um, I've got cowrie growing on the farm which are now about four meters high and, and, and that's really nice. So when you're buying plants I found that I'm better off to have less bigger plants. I've only got so much budget so I'd like to buy a PV4 or a 5 if I can. I need a, a decent sized plant sort of at least half a meter high if I plant little plants, I tend to lose them in the grass and I can't find them and they die. It, it's not what you can plant in the winter that's the, that's the limiting factor, it's what you can look after. 200 plants a winter is about what I can look after in the summer because I need to release them in October or they just get swamped by the grass and I need to release them again in February. I'm very good at releasing when the teenagers are home from university because they're very useful. <laughs> Weeds can be a problem once you fence it off. I don't really have a problem with blackberry. I have some, but not a lot, and I either spray it or I dig it out. My main weed is convolvulus, and I hate this stuff. So this is typical of convolvulus, and just typical of what happens. So it just pulls them over and pulls them down, and then it swallows them. So I cut it and pull it, pull it away from the plants and then I spray it. Grr, a rabbit's eaten it. The advantages of having the area planted now. The farm looks loved <laughs> and that's really important to us. It's a family farm. Um, we're hoping the kids will take over one day. There's more birds around, a lot bigger variety of birds that stay here now that we didn't have before. Uh, the watercress are growing well. There's more kura than there used to be. We don't have any fish quite like some fish, that would be nice. I think the water quality is better when it leaves the farm than when it came in. And that's a good thing. And if everybody made a little step, just a little step and did a little bit, all those little bits add up and that, that's important. You don't have to do a huge amount, but if everybody does a little bit, it does add up.